This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by CFU, the power of service. Welcome back to Panther Sports Talk. Well, Troy, uh, we graduated some outstanding student athletes this past year, but I feel confident, I know the coaches, I know you do as well, that they're going to be replaced with some incredible talent in the underclassmen now here at UNI. You know, it's it's hard to, to fathom. I remember when Josh Mahoney and Ellie Blankenship and Jackie Kalen left our program. We thought, how, how do you ever replace student athletes of that caliber, not just competitively, but what they did academically and, and their national reputation. They all earned national awards for, for what they did off the field and off the court. And then you see uh, the David Johnsons of the world and, and, and say, this is a 3-5 student who was maybe the best football player we've ever had here, the best skill position player maybe we've ever had here. And what he did socially, what he did for the community, and what he did in the classroom. And then you look out in the field, and I don't think any of us right now know, but there's another David Johnson, there's another Josh Mahoney, there's another Ellie Blankenship as, as those students evolve. And I trust that's going to happen because I know who our coaches are recruiting. They recruit quality students who belong at UNI, who fit the culture, who fit the climate at UNI, and just happen to be able to excel athletically. So I know they're there. It's fun to watch them evolve and see, though, who's next. Before we take a look at who's next, let's take a look back at the career of David Johnson. David Johnson was an under-recruited running back from Clinton, Iowa when he arrived at UNI. Redshirting in 2010, it didn't take long for David to have an impact. He racked up 119 all-purpose yards and two touchdowns in his freshman debut against Iowa State and was named the MVFC Newcomer of the Week and earned the same honor the following week. David went on to earn many more honors that year as he finished fourth in the voting for the Jerry Rice Award, runner-up for the MVFC Freshman of the Year, fourth for the MVFC Newcomer of the Year, and was named to the MVFC All-Newcomer Team and was an honorable mention All-Conference pick. Yeah, he's uh, he's huge, and I, he gives that you know that frightening presence when you know he, you see somebody that big just line up beside Sawyer, and it's just like, and he's fast and he's powerful, and it's just like, man, how do we attack this guy? Like, just. It's just crazy. The honors kept coming as David led the conference in points per game his sophomore year and was named to the second team All-MVFC. David fought through injuries during his junior season but was still named to the first team All-MVFC. David backed that performance up this year with another first team All-Conference performance. He's just a very fun guy to be around. Um, he's very outgoing. You know, he's not very cocky. He's a very humble guy. And you know, all the credit he gets you'd think someone that could go to his head but he's not he's a great guy he has great faith uh, very Christian man and so you know there's just there's so many things you talk about David he's just all around great guy David tied the school record of four touchdowns in a game three times throughout his career his sophomore year against Youngstown State his junior season against Iowa State and this year against Stephen F Austin David holds many single season records for the Panthers as well in his final game at Illinois State, he became the leader in three different areas. Most rushing yards in a season with over 1,500, the most touchdowns scored in a season with 20, and he tied David Horn's record of 17 rushing touchdowns in a year. I'm just glad that I got the chance to do it with my teammates, with their help, uh, of everyone being there for me, and with the coaches uh, helping me out and learning more of the plays. and learning how to become a more effective player. Well, he's been he's been a great football player for us and uh, you know, we're fortunate for all the all the all the excitement he's brought to the dome to the to our to our program, the runs that he's made, the returns on kickoffs that he's made, but uh, just a tremendous job for what he's done over the years here at you and I. David was a dual threat on offense for the purple and gold and will go down as one of the greatest offensive players you and I has ever seen. His career records include the most touchdowns scored at 64, career rushing touchdowns of 49, career rushing yards with 4,687, career all-purpose yards of 6,859, and the most career total points scored with 384. I learned a lot more about defensive schemes, and I learned a lot more about technique-wise, not just being an athlete, but, being, but knowing certain moves that could help you get an advantage over defenders or defensive schemes, and I learned how to become a, a better person. Um, I learned that you you got to fight through a, a lot of things, not just um, school-wise but football-wise, to overcome a lot of obstacles in your life. 
and it's it's been a blessing and I'm glad that I did end up coming here to UNI and I wouldn't choose any other school. For every UNI fan and Panther alum, David, we thank you for your four fantastic years here at UNI and wish you the best of luck in your future. Bounces off the tackle, David to the 25, 30, David go to the 40, look at him go, 50, David 40, he is gonna go to the house, touchdown! Congrats to David on signing his NFL contract, it'll be fun to root for him this NFL season. Still to come, we have more with UNI Athletic Director Troy Dannon and highlights from the week, this is Panther Sports Talk.